the name of the cloud suggests something white and fluffy and there's a lot of misconception about what the cloud is. It could be uh, a computer or a server in a shed at the bottom of somebody's garden or it could be in a tier 3 or a tier 4 data center. From business to business perspective it's very very important that the sales team can articulate and explain to the prospect what the value of having their software in a data center is. If you're talking to large PLCs and uh, the public sector, you need to ensure that the data center that you're going to put their software in is ISO 27001 compliant. That helps satisfy the security issues, which are a big talking point at the moment. Um, power down. Most tier three data centers can manage without the national grid for several days. It's very, very important. And what a lot of MSPs miss is actually selling to the prospect the very thing that they're offering which is that security which they could never achieve if they had that computer and that application in their own premises. Well the first thing is very important to choose your partners and vendors. Who's going to supply you with the software that you're going to sell if you're not writing your own? Who's going to supply you with the hosting services? Are they compliant? Do they take care of all that? The other thing that's important when you're selling your business to people is that your website needs to be very, very confidence building. Today, 94% of all B2B purchases start with somebody doing a search on the internet. So when they get to your website, you must have by law your registered office and registered number on there. It would also help if you've got your VAT number on there. If you can put your policies on there, and show that you're a real company, a limited company, that you have, you have policies for health and safety, for diversity, and all of those things that, that people expect today. Because the people who perform due, due diligence are very detailed focus. And the more detail you can give them about how you, what you behave, the more comfortable they'll feel buying from you. It's very important that you have up-to-date published accounts. It's very important that you have case studies that are relevant to the sector that you're targeting. If you're selling to the construction sector, you need to have a construction sector case study. It's very important that you offer contact details at the right moment in time. So I was with a client yesterday and said, if you want to find out about us, phone this number and ask them what we did for them. There's nothing better than your client's reference to give people security that you can deliver what you said you can deliver. That's a very important question and there is no answer to it because it's different for every company. It depends on their strategy, it depends on their, their plans for exit. Some businesses are, are, have a plan to exit in five years and make a lot of money and retire. Some have a lifestyle business where they're going to be around for the next 20 or 30 years. And the decision you make in answering that question will determine the net worth of the business. It costs a lot of money to bring it in-house. That's a big investment, but it could add to the net worth of the business when you exit. If you're a lifestyle business and you're not looking to exit, then that cost might not be worth spending. It really depends on the individual, the entrepreneur who owns the business and where he's going with his vision and his mission.